Maston Space Systems is an aerospace manufacturer startup company in Mojave, California, formerly Santa Clara, California, that is developing a line of vertical takeoff, vertical landing (VTVL) rockets, initially for uncrewed research suborbital space flights, and eventually intended to support robotic orbital spaceflight launches. Topic Overview Maston Space Systems is a Mojave, California-based rocket company that is currently developing a line of reusable VTVL spacecraft, and related rocket propulsion hardware. Maston Space Systems competed in the NASA and Northrop Grumman Lunar Lander Challenge X Prize in 2009, winning the Level 1 second prize of $150,000 and the Level 2 first prize of $1 million. On November 2, 2009 it was announced that Maston Space Systems had won first place in the Level 2 category, with Armadillo Aerospace coming in second. Topic Zombie Mastin's Zombie Model XA01 B won the 150,000 United States dollars second prize in the level 1 competition of the Lunar Lander Challenge on October 7, 2009 with an average landing accuracy of 16 centimeters 6.3 in the primary goal of these two airframes was to demonstrate stable controlled flight using a GN and C system developed in-house at Maston. XA-0, 1B originally featured four engines with 1,000 pounds force 4 kilonewtons thrust, but was converted in spring 2009 to be powered by one engine of 750 pounds force 3 kilonewtons thrust. By October 2009, the regeneratively cooled isopropyl alcohol and liquid oxygen rocket engine was running at around 900 pounds force 4 kilonewtons. XA-0, 1B, nicknamed Zombie, first flew free of tether September 19, 2009 and qualified for the Lunar Lander Challenge Level 1 second prize of 150000 on October 7, 2009. In October 2016, NASA reported using Zombie to test the Landing Vision System (LVS) as part of the Autonomous Descent and Ascent Powered Flight Testbed (ADAPT) experimental technologies for the Mars 2020 mission landing. As of the 7th of March 2017, Zombie has flown 224 times. Topic XOIE Maston's XOIE Model XA01 E won the 1 million United States dollars level 2 prize of the Lunar Lander Challenge on October 30, 2009. They beat Armadillo Aerospace by just a bit more than 24 inches 610 millimeters of total landing accuracy, with an average accuracy of about 7.5 inches 190 millimeters on the two landings in the round-trip competition flight. XOIE has an aluminum frame and features a version of Maston's 750 pounds force 3 kN thrust engine that produces around 1,000 pounds force 4 kilonewtons of thrust. XOIE, as the craft is nicknamed, qualified for the Lunar Lander Challenge Level 2 on October 30, 2009. Zyro 
The Zyro reusable launch vehicle is a vertical takeoff, vertical landing VTVL rocket which is being developed by Maston in 2010-2011. It has been proposed to NASA as a potential suborbital reusable launch vehicle SRLV for carrying research payloads under NASA's Flight Opportunities Program initially known as the Commercial Reusable Suborbital Research CRUSR program projecting 30 kilometers 19 miles altitude in initial flights of 5 to 6 minutes duration while carrying a 10 kilograms 22 pounds research payload it is propelled by the 1,150 pounds force 5.1 kilonewtons Cyclops Al-3 rocket engine burning isopropyl alcohol and liquid oxygen. The first Zyro test vehicle flew 110 test flights before being destroyed in its 111th flight. During the record-setting flight on September 11, 2012, an engine valve stuck open during descent, was sensed by the control system. As designed, the flight termination system was triggered, destroying the vehicle before it could create a range safety problem. The final test flight was intended to test the vehicle at higher wind loads and altitudes, flying to an altitude of 1 km while testing the flight controls at higher ascent and descent velocities before returning to a precise landing point. The ascent and initial portion of the descent was nominal, prior to the stuck throttle valve which resulted in termination of the flight prior to the planned precision landing. <laughs> Zyro B A follow-up to Zyro with the ability to reach 6 km miles altitude with engine on throughout. Zyro B is between 15 and 16 feet tall where Zyro was 12 feet tall. Zyro B is proceeding through hot fire testing. It will be used for the bulk of research flights up to initial altitudes between 20 km to 30 km. The vehicle has now been retired due to damage on a test flight in April 2017. It flew 75 times. <laughs> Zodiac. The Zodiac is a VTVL rocket introduced in 2016. It features pressure-fed LOX, IPA propellant, and a regeneratively cooled engine. Flights can simulate landing on the Moon or Mars. Video of Zodiac performing in-flight air flow tests tuft strings. XEUs XEUs pronounced Zeus is a vertical landing, vertical takeoff lunar lander demonstrator. XEUs consists of a Centaur upper stage from United Launch Alliance with RL-10 main engine to which four Katana vertical thrusters have been added. Production XEUs are estimated to be able to land on the Moon with up to 14 tons revised to 10 tons payload when using the expendable version or 5 tons payload when using the reusable version. The damaged Centaur on the demonstrator XEUs limits it to Earth flights. The production versions would have to be manufacturing fault-free and certified for space operations. Man rating may also be needed. United Launch Alliance, supplier of the Centaur, refer to XEUs as an abbreviation for Experimental Enhanced Upper Stage. Further details of the proposed design are given in the paper.
Experimental Enhanced Upper Stage (XEUS), an affordable large lander system. Each of the katanas used on a XEU's lander are likely to produce 3,500 pounds force (16 kilonewtons) when performing a horizontal touchdown. In December 2012, Maston demonstrated their all-aluminum 2,800 pounds force 12 kilonewtons regeneratively cooled engine, the KA-6A. The talk in this video announced the XEUs also shows NASA's Space Exploration Vehicle rover with its two astronauts as a possible payload for the XEUS. On April 30, 2014 NASA announced announced that Maston Space Systems Inc. was one of the three companies selected for the Lunar Catalyst Initiative. NASA signed an Unfunded Space Act Agreement with Maston in September 2014. The SAW lasts until August 2017, has 22 milestone and calls for end-to-end -end demonstration of hardware and software that enables a commercial lander on the Moon." In December 2015 United Launch Alliance ULA were planning to upgrade the XEUS's main body from a Centaur upper stage to the Advanced Cryogenic Evolved Stage ACES, which they are currently developing, significantly increasing the payload. Mast and Space intend to incorporate experience from developing the XL family of cargo landers into the XEUS family of landers. In August 2016, ULA's president and CEO said ULA intend to man rate both the Vulcan and ACES. XEUS was cancelled in July 2018. Topic XL1. The XL1 is a small cargo lunar lander that Maston is developing as part of the Lunar Catalyst Program, SOM ID 18250. When powered by MXP-351 the XL-1 is designed to land 100 kg payloads onto the surface of the Moon. As of August 2017 Maston Space expects the XL-1 to have four main engines which are being prototyped on the XL-1T and a wet mass of about 2,400 kg. On October 11, 11, 2016 Maston Space tweeted a video showing the test firing of its new bi-propellant combination, internally called MXP-351. The test used an existing engine with an experimental injector, the first machete, producing 225 pounds thrust. Development of their 3D printed region lunar engine that will use MXP 351 to land on the Moon continues. As of March 2017 a 1,000 pounds thrust version of Machete for the terrestrial testbed of the lander, dubbed XL-1T, is being manufactured. In October 2017 NASA extended the Lunar Catalyst Agreement for two years. On November 29, 2018 Maston was awarded a commercial lunar payload delivery services contract by NASA. The landing will be no earlier than 2021. Topic <laughs> XL1T The XT1T is a T terrestrial technology and process demonstrator for the XL1 and XEUS. A terrestrial flying test bed is being used since lack of vehicle access to lunar landers after launch would make Maston's incremental design and test development methodology difficult and very expensive. 
Like the XL1, the XL1T is under development in partnership with NASA Catalyst, some ID 18250. The XL1T is expected to have a dry mass of 588.93 kilograms and a wet mass of 1270.68 kilograms, which is less than the XL1. The vehicle has four off Machete 4400N main engines able to throttle between 25% and 100% 4 to 1. The propellant is MPX 351. Yaw and pitch are controlled by differential throttling. There are four off 22N axe thrusters to control roll. Many characteristics of the XL1T have been deliberately made similar to the XL1. These include multi engine architecture, avionics, software, fuel, movement of inertia, slosh management, and mission design tools. Topic XS1 Maston has been awarded a three million United States dollars contract from DARPA to develop the XS1 experimental spaceplane. Project ended as DARPA awarded the Phase Two to Boeing. Topic. Other products and services In addition to its line of vehicles, Maston Space Systems is currently offering its internally developed igniters and engines commercially to interested and qualified parties. Maston also has stated its intent at multiple conferences to participate in technology maturation and proof of concept projects. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Broadsword Hot fire testing of 25,000 lbf liquid oxygen, liquid methane broadsword thrust chamber on September 30, 2016, Maston Space Systems. Broadsword is a 25,000 pounds force 110 kilonewtons methane, liquid oxygen rocket engine Maston Space Systems is developing for the U.S. government. Advanced manufacturing techniques will permit the engine to be used to provide a lower-cost reusable launch service for the growing CubeSat and SmallSat launch market. The prototype engine took 1.5 months to construct and is made of aluminium. The engine consists of three parts that are bolted together. The engine uses an expander cycle and may produce 35,000 lbf 160 kilonewtons with a bell extension in vacuum. Development of a technology demonstration unit was completed in September 2016. The hot fire test campaign concluded with the demonstration of six successful engine starts. As of 2017, a second development unit containing enhancements was being developed for NASA under the Tipping Point program with the aim of being flight qualified. Topic: <laughs> Cutlass Cutlass is a 25,000 pounds force 110 kilonewtons methane, liquid oxygen rocket engine Maston Space Systems was developing for the U.S. government. Built using aluminium alloy via additive manufacturing techniques. Cutlass evolved into a low-cost expendable upper stage engine using a gas generator cycle. A Phase II SBIR grant was not awarded so development has been put on hold. <laughs> Katana 
Katana class engines produce up to 4000 lbf, 18 kilonewtons of thrust and are regeneratively cooled. They are designed for indefinite runtime and good throttle response. A video of the all-aluminium Katana KA6A Region 2800 LBF engines shakedown test burning LOX, IPA isopropyl alcohol. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Machete. Machete is the name for a family of throttle rocket engine designs Maston Space Systems is developing to permit their XL-1 lunar lander to land on the Moon. The Machete rocket engines burn the non-toxic storable hypergolic propellant combination MXP-351. The first machete had an experimental injector design that was used to test MXP-351 in 2016, producing a thrust of 225 lbf. As of March 2017 Maston is modifying the design to make the engines additively manufactured with regeneratively cooled thrust chambers. Machete engines are being scaled up to produce 1,000 pounds thrust for a terrestrial test bed version dubbed XL1T. Topic <laughs> MXP351. MXP-351 is Maston Space's internal name for a self-igniting bipropellant combination invented to fuel its small lunar landers. Unlike the traditional NTO, MMH bipropellant, the two propellant chemicals in MXP-351 are safer to handle because they are non-toxic. The bipropellant can also be stored at room temperatures, unlike liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen. The hypergolic combination has an ISP of 322 seconds. The storage life of MXP-351 before use is undergoing long-term studies but is expected to be a few years. The reduced operation constraints may permit a reduction in recurring operating costs. For handling instructions, see the section on safety below. Topic: <laughs> Safety. Maston Space use similar precautions when handling MXP-351 to those used for HTP high test peroxide. These include wearing splash protection clothing plus a simple chemical respirator. They claim that spills can be rectified by diluting with water and rinsing away. <laughs> See also